Hello, Kingdom Warriors. How are you guys doing tonight? Um, so it's been a little while since I recorded a video like this. Uh, tonight I do have a couple of scriptures that I'm going to read to you, but I also have a little message that I want to share with people. I'm going to start with one of the scriptures. It is 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Now, this verse was written by the Apostle Paul. And um, uh, Paul, for those of you who don't know, uh, his job was to imprison, torture, and kill Christians before Jesus um, called on him to share the wonderful gospel. So um, he went on to later write 13 of the books in the New Testament. It's possible to be 14, but definitely 13. And it just goes to show that you don't have to be perfect for Jesus to use you, for God to use you for his glory. Um, and so just keep that in mind that, you know, when you come to Jesus, you don't have to be perfect and you don't have to be sinless. Uh, once you accept Jesus into your heart um, as your Lord and Savior and you ask for forgiveness, you will automatically start to change from the inside out. Jesus loves you too much to allow you to stay the same. And when you realize that deep love, that compassion, that peace that Jesus has for you, um, it's almost impossible not to return that love. And when you love him back, you'll automatically start to change. You'll automatically want to exuberate the same love and the same peace, the same compassion, um, the same genuine, pure heart that he had. You'll automatically want to be more and more like Jesus with each day that passes. And um, so I found on my walk with Jesus, one of the most difficult things for me to do was to forgive myself. It was much easier for me to forgive other people, much more difficult for me to forgive myself. I seem to have held myself to a higher standard than I did other people. And um, I found it uh, difficult to forgive myself for some of the sins that I committed against God and other people and even sins against myself. Now, my pastor on Sunday, he was talking about familiar keys, and it really, truly spoke to my heart because he said, you know, a lot of people, they walk around with keys on their key ring to doors that they they don't even know, or the keys open doors that they don't even know, or they're no longer in their life anymore. They may not even know what door that the keys that are still on their key ring open and that we hold on to these familiar keys. But the thing is, is when we call upon Jesus and we accept him and we ask for forgiveness, he gives us that forgiveness. He washes us clean. We become a new creature and that person that we used to be is no longer who we are. And if we continue to hold on to that, we could be blocking our own breakthroughs. We could be holding ourselves back from growing in our faith and strengthening our relationship with Jesus. So I just wanted to come and share that just in case there is anybody else out there who was having that issue that it was very difficult for them to forgive themselves. I've always been extremely difficult or extremely hard on myself. And um, it was much easier for me to forgive other people. Now, if you found that it's easier for you to give yourself forgive yourself than it is for other people, I encourage you to please call upon Jesus and release that to him. You have to release forgiveness. You have to release resentment um, to be able to receive the true peace that comes with, uh, with the love of Jesus. And, um, once you realize that, once you unlock that key, once you use that key and unlock that door, um, it just, it really just gives you a peace that surpasses all understanding truly. And then there also may be people who are, who are struggling still in sin. 
you know, like maybe you've came to the Lord Jesus Christ, you've already accepted him into your heart, and you're still being transformed, and you're still, you're still fighting some battles, you're still fighting some sin, um, so this is another uh, scripture, another verse that Paul wrote, and um, it's Romans chapter 8, verses 38 through 39, it says, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So I just want to let you know that you if you've accepted the Lord Jesus into your heart and your soul, you've called upon him, you believe that he is the son of God and that he came here to wash us clean of our sins. He, he died on the cross to, to cleanse us of our sins and he rose on the third day. Um, you are an adopted child of the kingdom. You belong to Jesus. You know, he bought you with the ultimate price. He paid the ultimate price and you have been forgiven and you will be forgiven for any sin that you ask forgiveness for. But you do have to ask for that forgiveness. Um, there's nothing that you could do that could turn their heart from you, right? Uh, a lot of times when we find ourselves sinning, even though we're walking with Jesus, if we find sins that we're, we're struggling with and we find sins that, that we're having a hard time letting go of, it makes us move away from God. It makes us move away from Jesus because we start to condemn ourselves or the enemy starts to condemn us. And then we allow that to take over and go to our heart. And then we distance ourselves from Jesus and we distance ourselves from God. And what we don't realize is that's when we should call upon them more. If, if you find that you're in a sin that you, you can't let go of that, that you find yourself struggling and you're trying really, really hard, but you keep falling short you call up on Jesus and that's when you let him know, Lord, I'm, I'm weak. I can't get through this on my own. I need you and he will help. He will help you. You do not have to be perfect to walk with Jesus. Jesus will help change you. He will help you. Um, so you have to release those things. You have to release your struggles. You have to release your fears. You have to release your pain. You have to release your resentment. You have to release all of that to Jesus so that he can give you his love, his peace, his comfort. So he can give you rest. You have to trust in the Lord. You have to surrender. And for us independent people, sometimes that surrender is one of the hardest things to do um and and it takes some work it truly does but if you just trust in the lord you will find that you will never be disappointed and i'm not saying that your your troubles won't go away or that your troubles will go away and you never have troubles again um but i am telling you that in your troubles you'll still have peace you'll still have that that inner calm, like everything's going to be okay. Because um, he has overcome the world already, you know. Um, but he will help you. He will take care of you. Um, and, uh, and so I just wanted to come and share that with you guys. Uh, I know this has turned into a 10-minute video. Uh, if you have lasted this long, uh, I appreciate you watching. Please drop a comment if you'd like. Share this with somebody. Um, definitely hit the like button so we can help get this out to other people. Um, if you did stick around, say uh, in the comments, I forgive myself. Um, and I trust in the Lord. Yeah, one of those two, if not both. Um Anyway, thanks again. Uh, I have, what, 371 subscribers now, and um, 
I, I truly do appreciate you. And you guys have a great night. Don't forget, God loves you. Jesus loves you. And I do too. Stay blessed.